Good morning, I'm Pastor Bill Johnson of the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. Welcome to another edition of We Are The Church. Well, again, good morning, friends, and a happy Wednesday to you. We're halfway through the week today, so I hope that your Wednesday is laying out ahead of you in a, in a great manner. Today I'm going to be reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthian church, and these are some instructions uh, that Paul gives uh, regarding uh, Holy Communion. We'll get to the reason why I'm reading that in just a moment. In verse 27 of chapter 11, Paul says, Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be answerable for the body and blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves, and only then eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For all who eat and drink without discerning the Lord's body, eat and drink judgment upon themselves. And for this, many reason, for this reason, many of you are weak and are ill, and some have died. But if we judged ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined so that we may not be condemned along with the world. And so then, my brothers and sisters, when you come together and eat, wait for one another. If you are hungry, eat at home, so that when you come together, it will not be for your condemnation. About other things, I'll give you instructions when I come. These seem like pretty severe words from Paul. But uh, on this coming Sunday, we're going to have a celebration of World Communion Sunday. Churches all across the globe, congregations all over the globe are going to be taking time to come to the Lord's table. table. Um, and uh, the Lord has spread his table wide and far. And we'll all be sharing together at the Lord's table in a very special and holy meal in which Christ himself represents himself to his body, the church. Now, we have to remember when we read these words from 1 Corinthians that Paul was writing to a specific congregation at a specific place and time. And as Paul was writing to them, he was addressing a congregation that had um, some people who were wealthy and never had to work and other people who were um, having to work hard every day just to, just to make it, just kind of like we have today. But what Paul had heard and found out is that the wealthier ones were coming early to the communion and they were passing the bread and wine and eating to their fill and they were eating whatever else might be available. Often the Lord's Supper was practiced in the early days of the church after everyone had had a common meal together and then they would take the bread and cup at the end. So all of these people would come and eat all the good things and then they would pass the wine around and they would be good and lubricated before the working class folks got off their last shift and were able to come over. And so things got a little sloppy and loose around the edges. Now what Paul is saying is, if, we, if it were up to us, we would just let ourselves off the hook every day. And uh, we would kind of give it the old, hey, I laid all my sins at the foot of the cross. It doesn't matter what I do with my body after that. Uh, but of course, we know that it's different. We come before God every day remembering that it's only by his grace that we are able to come to the table. It's only by his invitation, and it's only by his grace and forgiveness that our sin is being uh, removed from us. So when we judge ourselves, Paul says, we tend to let ourselves off the hook. But when the Lord judges us, he judges us in such a way that that which is impure is removed, and that which is pure, that is in love with Christ, remains. So on this Sunday, as we celebrate the Lord's table, indeed, any time we gather to celebrate at the Lord's table, we're going to take time to have a moment of quiet reflection and a moment of common confession together. These, things, uh, these moments are not designed to make us feel bad about ourselves, but rather to give us a glimpse of the surpassing grace of God, to remind ourselves that it is only by the grace of God that we come to be fed in a spiritual way. As I have often said to the people in my congregations, there are a million ways to feed the earthly appetites that we have in this world, but there's only one meal that can truly nourish and satisfy our souls, 
while we make our pilgrim way through this world. So I invite you, wherever you are and wherever you may be listening to this, to find your way to the sanctuary of God this coming Sunday, the closest one you can find. Spend time at the Lord's table. Spend time in reflection ahead of time, in confession and in receiving the words, the comfortable words of assurance that we are, in fact, forgiven in Christ. And then feed on Christ in your heart with faith and with thanksgiving. Let's pray. Loving God, we do praise you and thank you that you offer to us the grace of Jesus. And we ask now that as we come before you on this Wednesday, that you would help us begin the process of preparing to be at your table this weekend. Bless us as we go through our day. Gently remind us of the places where we still need extra grace from you. And help us in all things to give thanks to you for the progress we have made so far. Day by day, O oh Lord, you walk us through this world and prepare us to be with you in eternity. And for this, we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, have a wonderful Wednesday today. Uh, you can uh, remember that um, you can find We Are the Church, uh, this daily ministry of encouragement every Monday through Saturday right here on our YouTube channel. If today's message spoke to your heart, hit the like button. If you want to leave a comment, I invite you to do so. And if you have a chance, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be sure to get every one of these daily moments just to encourage your heart. So as you're going about your business today, remember to wash your hands. Remember to read a psalm and remember to tell someone that you love them. I'll see you soon.